major restock in Mega Bass rods. Major restock in everything Mega Bass. Some new limited edition stuff and new items from Spro. That's what's new on the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the, today's episode of What's New. Griff here. I'm here filming with CJ. What's up? How's it going, CJ? Dude, I'm excited for this one. We got some good stuff. All right. So, can't have a What's New without an Orion, right? Such a good sound. Oh. Would Ben's, you like an Orion? Of course I would like one. Thank you, sir. All right. Looks great. Sick. Ben probably heard that from across the country right now. Yeah. <laughs> so Ben is not here today. Uh, so you guys are going to be hanging out with me this morning. Um, let's talk about some of the things that are going on this week. So we got a major restock in Mega Bass items. So 3 8 and half ounce SB3s are back in stock. All right. We've restocked every color uh, in these sizes. So we got it. We got them in the slow roll and in the uh, double willow. So if you guys have been looking for SV3s and they have some colors that were out of stock, they are back. So go ahead and grab them while you can. Also back in stock are some key colors in the Mega Bass Z3. Some of these cooler colors that that some people have been missing that are, don't come in very often. You have your Edo Canari. We have Ghost BBC. BBC. <laughs> and Al Tannen Watergill, all right? These are some pretty sick colors. Everybody knows that the Z3 is one of my favorite crankbaits. It's definitely my sm my favorite small body crankbait. But I mean, check this out, guys. Everybody's used to the black back chartreuse that we see in almost every every brand has a crankbait that's in this color. But not often do we get a transparent version of it. I like that little black hit on the tail too. Oh yeah, dude. That orange bottom. Yeah, it's kind of a cool little this, little feature. This crankbait is legit. So <clears throat> a lot of people use the black back chartreuse when they're fishing in like stained water, looking for fish that are not necessarily seeing some of these lighter colors. But now we have it in a little, it's a little more subdued because it's transparent and it's got a little bit more natural of a look. All right. So the Z3 is a very cool crankbait. It's going to be about a 12 to 14 foot diver. It's got a LBO system in there. You guys can see this right here if you're not familiar with it they call it the linear bearing oscillator which is a tube that has bearings inside of it and what happens is it sits magnetized to the front of the bait here you can see this little tube here and as you do your back cast it will pop to the back and it it spins inside the tube that's built into the bait so it creates a motion or it creates momentum for when you're casting it and it just helps the bait fly. It's a, it's a cast, it's a weight casting system pretty much, but there's a lot of science into the way that it spins when you're doing it. And then it sits there in the back and then as you work your bait, it will slowly come up. There's a magnet in there so it never goes back down. All right, Z3 is a super sick bait. Uh, we get a ton of bites on here. I throw this exclusively uh, when I'm looking for a smaller bait to throw that's gonna get in those deeper uh, ranges. Dude, I mean, how many times have you picked up a small crankbait and tried to throw it and it goes like 10 feet because it doesn't have a good weight transfer system in it? Yeah, the, the weight transfer is key, right? Yeah, and so key. Some of the ones that just use the bearings in there, sometimes the bearings get stuck or like if there's moisture in there, it'll rust and it'll just stay put. Ugh. So that, that LBO system is pretty sick and they did a really good job of developing some of these colors in this Z3. So there you go. Yeah, those look sick. Key colors are back. So back in stock again, four and five inch spark shads. All right, we got them in all the key colors. 
Uh, if you've been waiting for these to come back in stock in some colors, we've been out of a lot of colors for quite a while. Yeah, CG. yeah, this is much needed. Yeah, so all the colors are in, five inch, uh, four inch. Mm -hmm. um, so the five inch spark shad right now is gonna be a big piece of everybody's puzzle come springtime. Oh yeah, right, right around the corner. Yeah, six inch mag draft, five inch spark shad. Um, these are the baits that are gonna get bit as the springtime slowly progresses. Oh yeah, yeah. And then, like, what's the best part about spring? Is that you can throw all the coolest stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, all the stuff so, you've been buying through the winter, you can finally throw. <laughs> yeah, so you get these bites right here. Uh, check them out if you haven't thrown them yet. Spark Shad's a pretty cool little swim bait right there. It's got a, like a squared off shape to it. Let me open this. Yeah, let's check them out. Maybe there's, maybe there's one person out there that has no clue what a spark shad is, yeah. if that exists. So it's got this squared off top end right there. This spark shad is going to give you a ton of like head shake and the tail, it's really thin in the tail section. So the tail's going to, going to move quite a bit, but it's not going to be a violent like shake to it. It's no. going to move steady. It's going to thump really hard. Uh, it's a cool bait. Uh, they get bit. They're not majorly like intrusive to the fish. No, it's like a finesse swim bait, but it still has a lot of drawing power to it. Yeah, it's it's super snack size, even in the five inch size. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. there you go. Check them out. Buy them while you can. All right, guys, I got a few items in that we haven't had in a long time. <laughs> the 110 plus one salt water. All right, so everything about this is gonna be your standard 110 plus one. It's still gonna be a half ounce. It's still gonna be 110 millimeters. Uh, it's gonna come with the saltwater hooks on there, so big time upgrade on the hooks, and it's gonna be slow sinking. Nice. One of the biggest things that we did this year is we added a lot of lead strips to our jerk baits. Oh yes, right? we've been cruising through lead. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like the fish really wanted something slow sinking, but really you just had to get it down to them, and with the standard bait, like just a standard suspending 110, it was hard to get it down that way. Yeah. But the downside is when you're adding a bunch of lead, now you're taking away like, the realism factor of the bait. Yeah. So this is gonna be key, this is gonna be clutch. Yeah, so this will be balanced just like a 110 plus one, except for it's going to slow sink. And it's gonna come in these saltwater colors, but when you look at them, there's no way that they're just pure saltwater colors. No, look right? at that thing, dude, it looks good. Yeah, so it's got this sexy shed look. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a transparent bait. Such a sick color. That'll get chewed all day. Yeah, GG cruising blue. Cruising so, blue, I like it. That's a standard color in their saltwater lineup. You see it in multiple baits, but definitely a ton of crossover appeal in the freshwater game. So let's go through some of the colors. Yeah, I think uh, when it comes to saltwater baits, everyone, I think people want to throw saltwater baits, but the colors scare them away. But I think they'll be really surprised with how good these colors look. There we go. PM Hot Shad. You guys are used to this. You've seen it before. Katakuchi RB. Katakuchi. All right. So those are two colors that we're used to. We see it all the time. Uh, I used to Katakuchi on the lakes all the time and catch a ton of fish in some of the other baits. Yeah, it's a super fishy color. Yeah. So we got a GG Bora and a PM Bora. All right, so look at look at that. Look at that pearl on there. It's cool. Yeah. So the two Boras right there. <laughs> yeah. Singetsu Iwashi. That's a dope one too. Yeah, super dope. It's it's pretty much a GP stain reaction with the silver side. Yeah, exactly. Right? So that one's pretty dope. That'll get bit. That'll get bit. Yeah, but check check these out. Ooh. All right. Killers. So PM Pearl Rainbow and Secret Night. All right. Super sick. Uh, the pearl on this is just amazing. And then as it changes colors with all these different lines that are in it. So it's gonna be a killer one for trout guys right there. That yeah. Secret Night, that was a cool one. I like that one. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that one here in a second. <laughs> all right. So, all right. PM Tequila Shad. Hmm. All right, when we did Tequila Shad in the, in the 110 for the bento, everybody went nuts over it. Now you got it in a 110 plus one and a slow sink. So super sick color right there. So this color is called GP Shirasu. That looks familiar. We all know what this color is, <laughs> all right? And you know when I saw it, I was super excited because it's my favorite color on the planet. I don't know if we can talk about this one, Griff. I'm gonna have to keep this one under wraps. Well, 
Ooh. I'm going to go in the back and buy a bunch real quick. <laughs> so a little bit more transparent than what we're used to seeing in this color right here. Still has that oil slick side to it. And then it has the orange bottom. In my opinion, this is the greatest color ever created. Uh, I really love throwing this in all the jerk baits, even yeah. even the map version of it. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. It just it just gets bit. It, it fishes really well. The fish can see it. This one is super transparent, so I'm very interested yeah. in throwing this one. Yeah. This one's called Secret Night. All right. So it's kind of like that Edo Illusion color on the side, and then that that color shift that we are used to seeing on like a Mega Bass Sexy Shad. Yeah. All right. So the reason they call this one Secret Night is because the belly of this bait glows in the dark. Just the belly, just the line of the belly. That's all you're gonna see, all right? And this one is also super transparent, but when you look at it from the side, it's green. Hmm. So as it's flashing through the water, there's gonna be a ton of color shifts going on. So when those fish see it, they're gonna, they're gonna think it looks tasty or it's gonna confuse them so bad, they're just gonna wanna bite it, <laughs> right? Yep. And then when you're fishing in that those deeper waters and it's dark down there, they're gonna get a little bit of glow flash as it as it twitches. Uh, it's pretty sick. Sounds exactly the same as a regular 110. It has that that ball bearing weight transfer system in there. You like that? Nice. Yeah. So the only difference in it is the hooks and the slow sinking capability of it. So one one thing now is that everybody is using the live scope mm -hmm. and they want to see their baits yeah but with jerk baits jerk baits are a little too quick to like track them yeah they can be sometimes i mean on further distances they can be hard to see on live scope yeah and then so this one right here it's going to have a very slow sink it's going to be really easy to track with the with the hardware that's on it so if you're into it uh this one is a good one so you can see what you're doing but if you're not using it it's a good one because it's gonna catch a shit ton of fish. Yeah, yeah. Right? If you're a guy that likes to fish deep water with jerk bait, it's yeah. gonna be a game changer. Yeah, I mean, this is gonna sink as far as you want it to sink. Mm -hmm. so, Without adding anything additional to it. Yeah. It's just the bait as itself looks as natural as possible. Yeah, super sick. 10 new colors or 10 colors total in this one. So check them out, grab a couple, uh, go catch some fish on it. Mega Bass had made us a special batch of the Vibra Vibration X Smatra. All right. This is a small bodied lipless crankbait, but this one is the bone knocker. All right. So it's going to be made out of that bone material and it's going to have just a couple single knockers in there. Um, it's a super sick bait. Let me pull one out for you. It's small, right? It's not a giant big lipless right here. Uh, this one's going to be different from the Smatras you're used to seeing in like the Respect series because it's made out of that bone material. Hmm. It has a very unique sound to it, all yeah. right? So there are a few colors in it, but this color very specifically, Mega Bass made just for us, so you will only be able to get this color right here, which is called Bone Perch OB. All right, this is very, this is exclusive to us. Very... I like that a lot. Yeah. So if you're used to the Vibration X, this is like a slimmed down, smaller version of it. Uh, and now it's in a different sound, so pretty sick. It's gonna be a killer springtime color too. Yeah. Uh, let's look at some of these colors. All right, we got Bone Bass, Bone Blue Back Chart, Bone Matte Tiger, Bone Kinkuro, Viper Crawl. Mm. That's a good one right there. Yeah, that's a cool one. Two months ago at a Martinez, I would have been the shit. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Some people around the states are getting to that. Yeah. And then like this Bone GG Gill. Ooh, I like that one. GG Gill is a staple in the Mega Bass colors when you're looking for a super sick gill. Absolutely. Sounds just so cool. Yeah, that bone sounds super unique. Yeah, it's like a it's like a thud and it's like hollow, so it kinda kinda sounds like it echoes. Yeah. It's just like boom, but it's something really I would want to pick up when like the trap bite is full speed and everyone's throwing a trap. Mm -hmm. But how many people are going to be throwing a bone trap? Not too many, I would think. Oh, no, Totally yeah. different sound. And sometimes that makes a difference. Yeah. All right, guys. So we have brought in the Mega Bass 2023 See-Through Metatie. All right. This was designed to celebrate the new year. Okay. So Metatie means 
translates to celebration. I know a lot of you guys love to collect the Pop Max. All right, so this one right here, it's got this super sick scale design on it right there. The top of it is clear, but on the inside, it has a fortune in there. What? That is crazy. Right? How do they even do that? Like, how do you even science. build a date like that? Yeah, uh, just I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Smarter uh, people than us. Yeah. <laughs> Everything about this is Pop Max, all right? It's the color and the design with the fortune on the inside. So, you know, in some countries when they celebrate in these New Year's, they all receive envelopes. And in the envelopes, there's a fortune. They say, like, may you be prosperous, good luck will happen to you, mm -hmm. uh, have a good day, don't be a cocksucker, something like that, right? <laughs> uh, it has some kind of fortune inside of it. So inside these baits, there will be a fortune in there, and they're not all the same. Oh, so you get your own unique fortune. Yes, so there's seven different fortunes. There, there could be up to seven different ones, but when you buy them, you're not gonna be able to choose. Uh, we're, you're gonna order it, we're gonna put it in a box, and we're gonna send it to you. You don't get to choose which one you get, <laughs> but whatever one you get, it's gonna be super sick, I mean. How cool is that? This is the most unique design out of a, a popper that I've ever seen. That might be a bait worth buying and just putting on your desk for a show. It's so cool. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely pretty neat. So these are gonna be $39.99 and limited to one per person. Gotcha, Roger that. All right, anybody that tries to order more than one, your whole order will get canceled. Ooh, So and you get a bad fortune for the year. Yeah, so. We would, we're, it's very limited. There's, the numbers are not high at all, so we're gonna try to spread them around as much as we can, uh, let people get them. So, there those are. Uh, fuck, dude, this thing is sick. I would like to translate them and see what they actually say. Yeah, this one says, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't be a cocksucker. Don't be a cocksucker. <laughs> so it's gonna come in this super sick sleeve right here. And then outside the sleeve is going to be your regular Mega Bass Pop Max packaging, which you'll be able to see a little bit of the bait right there. So if some of you guys are collecting them, you guys will have a good time with this. Uh, if someone's throwing them, they're definitely going to have a good time. Oh yeah, because we know the Pop Max gets bit. Mm -hmm. What better fortune than catching a bass on a fortune lure? Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Doesn't get better than that. My fortune cookie carp. <laughs> Forty dollar fortune cookie. A few weeks ago, uh, we brought we restocked in Karachis, but they just flew out of here. So we've brought a few colors back in. Hopefully, if you didn't get any of them the last time, that you're able to get some right now. Uh, so I would grab them because every time we bring them in, they fly. They fly right off right? the shelf. So there are a few few colors. I don't think we restocked every color, but the, some of the key colors are back in. So enjoy. So we've restocked some of the Spro boxes. Spro boxes are pretty neat, dude. Yep. So we got Spro boxes back in all the sizes. Uh, we have the double-sided, we have 3500s, we have the 3700s, 3600s, the jig box. This is my favorite new jig box. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I could fit like 30 jigs in here and it's so small. I mean, it's a super thin container right mm -hmm. here. Uh, so most of the other jig boxes are huge. Yeah, they're big and clunky. That's gonna be quiet too, Yeah. with the foam. So, I, you know, I always have these at my house with my jigs in them, and then whenever, whatever I need, I, I separate them by size, and yeah. you can stay super organized. Uh, the jig fits into these little slots, nice. and it actually holds them. Hmm, I like that. I've used the Plano Edge box before, yeah, and it's nice, but it, like the little fittings that it fits into, it like messes up with the, the wrappings around the skirt. It like yeah. cuts it up over time, and they fall out. Yep. And it's a huge, heavy box. Mm -hmm. Well, and obviously a jig box is gonna get heavy if you have 33 eighth ounce jigs <laughs> in here. It's sure. gonna add some weight. So having a super low profile one, mm -hmm. pretty sick. Yeah, I like that it's thin too. Yeah, it's nice. If there's one thing that I feel like Spro is dominating in right now, it's it's their storage options. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. The boxes are solid. They've always been. Yeah. So here's a 3700 standard box. Uh, they all have these latches that latch. They don't latch standardly, so some of them have three latches on the boxes. This one's gonna latch down, gonna come up, and then that's gonna be your standard 3700. And here's your 3700 with the other latches I was talking about, so. Oh, got like a waterproof option? Yeah, so they have waterproof. Uh, and these hold, these, these things feel soft, like soft plastic, but they actually hold. Uh, 
same on the inside as the other one. Just a little bit more of a durable box. I kind of like when it has multiple clamps like that. How many times do you fill your box to the brim and it's like bowing in the center? Yeah. And those extra latches on the side just kind of helps lock everything down. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have we bring back a new size in the Spro clear pouch. All right, so this is gonna be the XL. We have two versions of it, right? We have a gusseted version, which when you look at it, it looks like the corners are tucked in, but it opens up a little bit wider than the standard one. So the standard one will just open up uh, like this. The gusseted one will open on the bottom like this. All right, so, and it's an XL. It's pretty huge. Everybody in the shop uses some sort of clear pouch to store soft plastics like, you know, 10 inch mag drafts and clamshells. Yep. You can fit like six of them in here. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. It's a great option for something like that. This one's the large and this one will be your standard, but we also have these in gusseted. Uh, super, su super cool uh, storage, storage options right there. New to us in three sizes, we have the Spro Terminal Box. All right, mm. this is a design that you guys have seen over the last year and a half, and it's been, every brand's been making them. Yeah, everyone's right. jumping on that train. Someone's got some sort of version to it. I mean, that's cute. <laughs> uh, there's literally gonna be nothing different than what you're used to besides the color. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's Spro branded, but it's another option if we if you can't find the other ones. It's very high quality, yeah. just like everything else. It has the snaps in there. A little insert comes out, and the cool thing is they made a little storage area for your inserts. Nice, smart. Right? So there's that. So that one's gonna be in the small size. That one's gonna be your medium box. All right, so this is like, I feel like this is the size that a lot of people are gonna carry yeah. because it, when it comes to terminal, people really love to get very specific what's in, how their boxes are organized. Yeah, there's just too many options. Yeah, so you don't want, I don't want one box that has everything in it. Right. I want like, you know, my Ned rig mm -hmm. hooks right here, my drop shot hooks here. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? So this would be just like my Ned rig box. Yeah. That will never exist. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'll have that like that, and then we have it in an XL. So this is a new size to us. Whew. Look at all that real estate. Yeah, it's it's big. No, this is the same as the other XL that we're used to. It's the same exact box. So if you like this style of box, this is a great it's a great box to have. You definitely get to stay organized with it and it holds a ton of stuff. Yeah. They're super key for like running gun missions for like a like a bank guy or someone that's on the move all the time. Yeah. Like we use them all the time for uh, the trout videos. Yeah. And we store all the small like trout rip baits and terminal tackle in there. Mm -hmm. And it's super, super nice because you can just throw them in a little backpack. They don't take up a lot of room and they're sealed too. So like, yeah. you know, if you get any moisture on the backpack or anything, you don't have to worry about your stuff in there. Yeah. They're and it's just sealed. lightweight. They're heavy duty. Yep. Right? So they have these non-slip like pads on them on both sides. So when you sit them down on something, like if you sit them down on a cooler or on something mm -hmm. that's usually something will slide on, yeah. it'll kind of just stay there. Yep. So that's pretty neat. And the latches are pretty pretty heavy duty on those latches. Yeah, right yeah it's there. a robust box all, overall. Yeah. Super nice. Pretty cool. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. All right, guys. So we've restocked a lot of our key items in Spro. So you know what time of year it's coming up, right, CJ? Oh, yeah. It's frog time, right? Yes, sir. So the Spro frog has been a staple in the frogging, in the frogging game for years. Oh, yeah. Right? Tried and true. Yeah. It's like the original good frog. <laughs> uh, been around forever so we restocked in key colors and frogs in all sizes baby popper the big popper king daddy junior regular so pick them up if you're ready for the frog season it's a good frog uh the colors there's every color you can think about is there so if you're missing something if you popped in your head and you said oh man i need this color spro has it yeah yeah there's eight bajillion colors in spro <laughs> This is something I would want to jump on right now before everyone starts buying frogs. Yeah, so uh, there's a certain area around here where one certain color works. <laughs> if that color works in your area too, uh, I would get it because our guys out there don't play when it comes to ordering that frog. No, sir. So the Spro Rock Crawler 50DD. This is a new bait. 
I love more crank options. Yeah, the rock crawler is a super popular bait. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people love it for banging in shallow rock. And now we're gonna give you a DD, which is your eight to 12 foot option. Man, that thing is tiny too. Yeah, same body. Look at how wide that lip is. Wow. Yeah. Gonna get a lot of side to side yeah, it's swinging. Gonna, it's gonna be in your like wiggle category of crankbaits. Yeah, that's a great right? category. <laughs> yeah. Your wiggle, so your warts, your griffins, your, uh, it's like a semi self hunting crankbait. Mm -hmm. Right? So there's that right there. Uh, super popular, especially in southwestern Arizona. Uh, they love these, these baits right here. And now you're just gonna have that option to get a little bit deeper. 12 colors in total. All right, so obviously the rock crawler comes in a ton of sh uh, craw colors. Yep. Because that's that's what it's kind of doing, just bouncing around those rocks down there. It's got that little solid rattle in there. Yeah, it's got like a little knocker in there, a yeah. subtle knocker. Yeah. So we have those. Check them out. If you're looking for a rock crawler that dives deeper, you don't have to put no lead strips on it. All right, guys. Grass Ripper, Grass Ripper swim jigs. All right, one of our favorite swim jigs in the shop. Super sick. So this is going to be like the swim jig version of a jackhammer right mm -hmm. super super good materials made out of it the components are going to be pretty hardcore and right now we got them in all size all colors new size three quarter ounce oh like that yeah so if you're looking for that heavier version of the grass river there it is in stock now earlier this year uh we brought in the bait sanity tug all right so this is a super sick innovative uh bait that gives like a a boiling bait fish type action or like a feeding action on the top of the water it has a weight system in the front that's connected to a spring so when you twitch your line it's gonna walk like a walking bait sort of um walking bait glide bait mm -hmm. but when you pop it that spring hits it and it drives the bait up and it looks like it's plucking bait fish off the top of the water it's like porpoising it's so yeah. crazy yeah it's a crazy bait um we sold out of these really fast the last time. I have them in all colors um, in stock now. So this is this is the bait that I'm most forward, looking forward to using this year. Oh yeah, when yeah. it starts getting warm again. Yeah, we got it, it was Ooh. a little cold, but now that they're gonna be on that bite, mm -hmm. don't let me find some stripers in a boiling pattern <laughs> or just you know under the surface because mm -hmm. they're gonna murder this thing. They're gonna crush it, dude. Yeah. It's gonna be such an electric bite too because it's a big bait. Yeah. Like they're just gonna commit full speed and crush it. Yeah. It's gonna be wild. When I first got my hands on it, it was very, it's very difficult for me to use it because I just want to rip it and pop it sure. and jerk it. It's a very finesse style action. You have to find the right momentum and pattern for it. Mm -hmm. uh, I would go to the Bait Sanity Instagram and check out some of their videos and they show it when they show it it's amazing it looks super good yeah it looks really good um fahad over there he's very open to, to talk to you guys about this mm -hmm. uh we will do a deep dive into this into this and some of the other bait sanity baits in the near future but i would check these out super cool bait we know it gets bit yep. uh we it came fahad came out here yeah we went to saguaro in the winter mm -hmm. and yeah, we, that's right yeah and we caught some fish on this yeah good one too yeah yeah one of the hardest places to fish at that time of year. So yeah. there they are, the Bait Sanity Tug. There it is. A little update for you guys. We're halfway through here. There you go, Ben. All right, guys. I have a box. It's a nice box. $100. Pick it up. Could be full <laughs> of fortune pot maxes. Yeah. <laughs> Could be full of paper. Who knows? Yeah. Whatever we feel like doing at the moment. No, just kidding, guys. So... <laughs> This right here is, we're gonna call it our spring swim bait box. All right, so it's going to be loaded. Jeez. With some of your favorite swim baits, right? Look at that. Ooh, good looking box. If it has a paddle tail on it, it's going in the box. <laughs> so we got our, our one-up shads, all right? Super sick. If you love to throw a dipper, Mm -hmm. This one has a very similar action to the Dipper, the Big Easy, yeah. uh, but obviously it's got that Japanese twist to it, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little different, similar but different. Stagger right here. Mm -hmm. Stagger is pretty sick, right? So it's like that flat gill shape, but it has a paddle tail. So most of the ones we're looking at usually have flat tails or pointed tails, but this one has a 
paddle tail on it, so as you're working it, it's definitely going to swim. Yeah. It's gonna, you're going to get that tail thump with it. It's cool with a lighter twist lock hook, too. You can kind of get it to walk. It's kind of yeah? cool with that motion. Yeah, oh, pretty cool. Sick. All right. It's going to come with some Union Swimmers. All right, so this bait right here is pretty neat because it floats. Mm -hmm. This is a floating swim bait. Uh, we definitely recommend adding some kind of weight to it if you're trying to get it down or fish it fast. Like those twist on weights that we have. Yeah. You can put some on here, you can cast it out, and then you can actually work it a little bit faster right there. Yeah. We will show you guys later, but I've been fishing this on a Carolina rig. Really? Yeah. Ooh, sneaky. Yeah. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> All right. So, super sick bait. Some mag slows. All right. You're gonna get multiples of each one of these baits, which is pretty cool, right? It's yeah. not just one. Go try it out. If you lose it, you lose it. Right. But no, yeah, you're gonna get multiples of that. Great. Oh. The Birkin Swimmer, all right, in four and five inch. All right, so this one's a pretty cool bait. This one used to dominate on the on the pro circuits. Yeah, yeah. Just Super popular bait back in Japan. Yeah, it doesn't come around very often, mm -hmm. but right now you're gonna get it in the box. And then the bottom up ball up swimmer. Super narrow uh, body profile. It's gonna do a lot of rocking or a lot of rolling instead of rocking. Uh, so th there's that. Two hundred dollar value. One hundred dollars. Pick it up if you're looking to grab some swim baits. Deal. All right, guys. You guys have been waiting for a restock in P5s, all right? So we got the Japanese models of P5s in a restock. Uh, I've, I wanna say I have every model <laughs> of P5, Japanese P5 in stock right now, all right? So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna talk about some of our favorites, uh, some of the most, po the ones that everyone's been waiting for. And then we're gonna talk about a special rod that we have in stock right now too. Oh yeah. All right, let's just start here. All right, <laughs> the Windbuster. All right, everybody knows that the Windbuster is a shop favorite here at the hookup. I am not a finesse fisherman, but I think because I use my Windbuster so often, everybody has classified me as a finesse guy. The Windbuster is a super unique rod. Seven foot two, F three and a half, uh, was made as a reaction bait rod, and it does reaction baits extremely well. Yeah. Right, but what I don't think they had took into account is that the sensitivity of the rod also makes it a great bottom contact rod, mm -hmm. right? Like, I don't know if there's something that you can't throw on here. I, I've almost went exclusively to throwing all my jerk baits in the 110 Junior and down size on this rod. I throw my free rig on it. I throw weightless plastics on it. I throw top water on it. <laughs> I throw small swim baits on it. Um, it to me is the best multi-purpose rod ever made. All right, and here's the crazy part: when you use a rod that's made to just like a junk fishing rod, it's made to just do whatever. It's okay at a lot of things, but not really great at anything. Right. This rod is great at a lot of things. Mm -hmm. All right, I can't say enough about it, all right? I've never wanted to have a spinning rod in my hand so much, <laughs> and I can't go fishing without it. Yeah. I, you and I went fishing the other day. I brought my Windbuster. I didn't use it, but yeah. I brought it. Yeah. It was with me, <laughs> right? This is like an ease of mind thing at yeah. this point. <laughs> and if, I don't know if you noticed, but every time I went for a rod, I would check to see if my Windbuster was there. <laughs> but it's just it's just the thing. I mean, you gotta have it there. Yeah. Because, Your emotional support Windbuster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I could take it anywhere I want. I'm taking it to any store. But yeah, Windbuster is super sick. Seven foot two, F three and a half. Uh, so many uses for this thing. If you're into spinning, uh, this is a, a great, great option for you. Here is the Tequila Baccarat. We haven't had a Tequila Baccarat in this store in a long time, all right? This is an F7, seven, seven foot, three quarter to four ounce rated rod, all right? So this rod right here, it's a swim bait rod, yep. all right? Uh, big gabbit, it'll throw the big gabbit really well. King Daddy Frog, something like that. It's got a pretty good bend on the top here. It's got a big handle. It's a beefy rod, right? It's, if you hold a P5, you're gonna say no, it's not strong enough for that rating, but it's 100% strong enough for this rating. Eight inch mag draft, 
will, does really well on this rod also. It's seven foot, so it, you're gonna be super accurate with your cast, just not gonna get the longest cast. Right, right, right. right. But when you need to be accurate and you need to have a little bit more control because it's only seven foot, the Tequila Baccarat is a great option. It's a great structure, big bait rod. Yeah. One of Ben's favorite rods is the Mad Bull. Mm -hmm. All right, so small crankbait, chatterbait, uh, react all around reaction bait rod. Uh, this is a very neat rod. It's 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 got that regular taper on there that we want to see. Mm -hmm. um, square bills uh, like an Evoke or like an S crank or something like that. It's amazing with those. Super sexy styling on this one. Super unique because all the other P5s have cork handles, but this one has the carbon fiber with the black EVA on the butt end. All right, it's got a shorter butt end on that. So when you need to like whip that rod, do like roll casting and stuff like that, that butt end is not getting in the way. Uh, also, this one is at seven foot F5. All right, three eighths to one ounce. One of our favorite compact jig rods on the, <laughs> yep. out there, right? The X-Bytes. All right, so the X-Bytes is a 7.2, let me see, 7.2 F5 and a half, quarter to one ounce. All right, so this one right here, uh, you've seen us all use it. I love it for an open water jig rod right there. It's It's got a lot of bend to it, mm -hmm. but the backbone on this rod is, is super sick, Yeah. right? I like to use it open water, or very sparse cover with like a weightless Senko. Yeah. It's a super sick weightless plastic rod. Uh, super compact jig, you know, quarter rounds, hunts, uh, something like that. That's a good option for you right there. The Super Destroyer, all right? So this one is styled just like the Mad Bull. This one is a 6.9 F6, all right? So this is gonna be your medium heavy. This one right here, if you were used to the old US Destroyer, Super Destroyer, it was really fast. They've added a little bit more give to this rod right here. Um, another good all-around rod. This one right here is probably gonna be one of your best all-around bottom contact rods. Sensitive rod, it's small, it's short enough to where you don't need a ton of space to use it. So it's great for, uh, you know, I, I'm on the bank a lot. I I love my Super Destroyers, <laughs> right? Uh, some of them, I, I've left them on the bottom of the river. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we don't talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> that was almost a year ago to this day. Yeah, just day. about, because yeah. I was like, I was only here for maybe a few weeks by then. That was our first trip out. Yeah. <laughs> what a great memory. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, um, I mean, we were just on the water with Andrew the other day, and he's like, I literally can throw everything on my Super Destroyer. Yeah, the Super Destroyer is a great all-around rod. Super versatile, sensitive. Um, it's going to do better than your standard versatile rod. So everybody makes a seven foot medium heavy fast action rod, mm -hmm. right? And that's like the standard in versatile versatile rods. This one right here is not a fast action, not, like not a true fast action. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be able to do a few more things with it and you're gonna have a good time. Super sexy again with that carbon fiber and black EVA. Check them out. All right, this one's all right, <laughs> you know. 110 stick. Yeah, we it's, only throw that one when, when we have to. Yeah. You know? It's cool. Nah. It's not the best jerkbait yeah. rod on the market. <laughs> <laughs> the absolute best jerkbait rod ever made. Absolutely. All right? So the one, the P5 110 stick. All right, this one's coming in at 6.5 and it's an F4. We're so used to seeing that F4 and a half in Mega Bass for jerkbait rods, but they made it shorter. They took a little power off of it and they just improved what were already great draw, uh, jerk bait rods, mm -hmm. right? So this rod is super sick. It's short, so no matter where you're standing, you're gonna have space. Yep. Six foot five. A lot of people are thrown off by that six foot five size, mm -hmm. but let me tell you, this fish is like a standard six eleven jerk bait rod. Absolutely. Yeah, right? no doubt. Fits in your hand. You put the right reel on it, and everything's one handed. Side casting it. You're going crazy. It, the power in this rod, this rod has a ton of power yeah, in it. Yeah, it right? really is. It's kind of crazy because like, it's got a ton of power in it to cast a jerkbait super well, but whenever you start fighting a fish, it bends super deep in the rod. Yeah. And you, know, you don't have to worry about pulling hooks. I watched CJ catch a nine just a few weeks ago on this rod right here, mm -hmm. and it was it was amazing just watching the fight. Dude, it was, just, it was so bent over. Yeah. I just kept him pinned, but I still felt like I had a lot of power in the rod to yeah. be able to like, turn the head around and fight the fish. Yeah, you, know? you were manipulating them pretty well. Yeah, I didn't feel like, 
I mean, it's a big fish, so I mean, you're always shitting your pants. But yeah, I didn't feel like I was gonna lose him because the hooks were just gonna rip out. Yeah, you know? yeah, great rod, the best jerk bait rod ever made. Yep, by far. Mega Bass 110 stick. All right, so the dark sleeper rod has been a mystery, right? It's supposed to be a jig rod, a swim bait rod. It's got this very unique bend to it, right? So it bends deep, and again, like all these P5s, the backbones are just crazy on them. Mm -hmm. It's like they're made to fight fish, but they're made to fight all the fish. Yeah. Like, like. It, we it's, always talk about it. It's like a weird secondary action with the yeah. P5s. Like, they're fast when you want them to be fast, and they're soft when you need them to be soft. Yeah. So this rod right here, because it it bends so deep, you would you would think that it's not a very good bottom bouncing jig style rod but dude it's sensitive yeah absolutely but here's a tip here's something that i figured out on this rod and it's gonna be crazy because i've been promoting another rod for this for years <laughs> all right this dark sleeper is now my new favorite small wake bait rod yep right i mean let me tell you i i was throwing a wake bait the other day and dude i didn't lose a single fish Mm -hmm. I, I stuck them all very good. Uh, fighting was very easy. I mean, I hooked that fish and had to climb down a cliff to land it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Like, it's sick. And I'm just holding the rod, controlling with my reel. The dark sleeper is sick. <laughs> right? So, treble hook baits, not a problem. Mm -hmm. Right? Jig hooks, not a problem. Mm -hmm. it's, a very good, it's a very good rod for doing multiple things also. But I think... For me, this is gonna be like my under one ounce wake bait rod. Yeah, you got the length on it too to bomb them out there yeah. in open water. Yeah, this one goes seven foot one, F four and a half. Yeah. So the rating on it is gonna be a quarter to one ounce. Super sick option. If you're looking for a rod that you wanna try out and you're not too sure where you, what kind of rod you're looking for, this is a good option to grab. The Super Destroyer and the Dark Sleeper are two good rods to just go experiment and find where what they do well for you. Yeah, absolutely. Right? So this is definitely, it's, it's the newest addition to my lineup. I've just been messing with it for a few weeks, but dude, this rod is sick. Alrighty, so some of the other rods that are in, we have the Siglet, that's that 6.6 six, like light spinning rod. Yeah, the rod's dope for like trout stuff. We were using it for uh, creek trout, um, throwing the little nano Siglet on there. Yeah, this would be considered an ultra light. Yeah. It's an F0. Mm -hmm. 66 f0 it has a stinger tip on it also yep so it has that uh z crank l style so good rod uh this rod is, is a really powerful crankbait rod i would throw a, a z3 that's where i would start with this rod z2 z3 uh super powerful big square bills like that 2.5 i love to throw throws mm -hmm. really well on it evoke 2.0 1.8 great rod for that uh landsat the landsat is going to be uh, your F3 611. All right, so this one's going to sit right above the baby plug-in. It's going to be a little bit shorter. Great rod, uh, drop shot, Ned rig. Uh, great, great rod option for that. And then the Pop X stick. All right, so BFS. We, we love to talk about this for BFS, but you can go beyond BFS on it right here. I throw I throw all the way up to Pop Max on it. Yeah, I take it back. That's the rod we were throwing the yeah. Siglet on. Yeah. When we were doing the creek missions, not, yeah. the, uh, not the other. It'll throw those mega light uh, baits because it's so whippy, but it also has a lot of power to throw that half ounce. Like I throw a pop max on it. <laughs> you could. Yeah. Absolutely. And I throw it with confidence, mm -hmm. right? So it does well, but the pop X on it is, it is it's the best pop X rod ever made. Yeah. Super, super sick. It's 6.5. It's a F1 but it's the most powerful F1 I've ever touched in my life. <laughs> All right, so go look at what rods are available. See if there's anything that, uh, that you're interested in. Give us a call if you want to talk about it. Message, message Ben yeah. on Instagram. <laughs> uh, you, can, uh, you can message me also um, just if, you, if you're interested in and just need some more information. So give us, a, give us a call, send us a message. One last rod that we need to talk about purple velvet sleeve you know what that means right <laughs> all right so we got the new craftsman pride rod in right and what we're looking at for this one it's the hedgehog evolution f466 
1 16th to 3 8 is the rating on this rod. Obviously, if you've seen some of the other rods that have been coming in in these Craftsman Pride series, I mean, they're they beautiful. Are, they are sexy. That's art right there. Right? This one has a snake on there because it's in the Orochi, right? Even this butt section is just designed so well. There's so many weird little curves on there. You yeah. Know, it's a very interesting looking rod. Yeah, so, you know. You notice how smooth that is? Yeah, it's super smooth. Look how big it is, and it's just a chunk of carbon fiber, right? <laughs> just in case you couldn't get your reel on, <laughs> yeah. you can really crank down on that thing. Just in case you want to be reminded you have something super fancy in your hand. It's yeah. a giant piece of carbon fiber that weighs absolutely nothing, and I mean, everything about this rod is just beautiful, right? Yeah. Um, There's not a single detail missing in that rod. Nope. This rod right here, also with a stinger tip, mm. right? So. This rod is going to bend deep. So I'm at the sixth guide right here. It's gonna bend deep and then it's going to stop bending. Yeah. Right? Shuts off quick. Pure power. Mm hmm. Right? So nose hook drop shot, Ned rig, some of your light things. It's an F4. Yeah, which is a lot of power. It's a lot, like a, right? I like a drop shot rod, yeah. Yeah. F4, you were used to like two and a half, three, mm -hmm. uh, three and a half at the biggest. Yeah. But an F4. Super sexy rod. I mean, look at that. Look at that re real seat. The detailing is, is there. One thing that, that Mega Bass gives you with their rods is everybody thinks, oh, they, they just look good. Mm -hmm. But they are made amazing. Yeah. It feels good, too. Just right. holding that rod, it felt really good. Yeah. It weighs nothing. Oh, it's super There's light. There's nothing in my hand right you, here. You would think with like all those details on there, like the more material you're adding to the rod to make it look cool, the heavier it's going to get. Yeah. That's just not the case. No. It's super lightweight. Not at all. These Hedgehog series, these Craftsman Pride things that they're bringing in are so sick. Mega Bass blanks are, are top notch. And then they add all this styling. I feel like you're not even paying for the styling. No. Right? Because no. you're getting an amazing, super reactive, super responsive rod. Yep. So that's pretty sick. This right here is in uber limited quantities. All right, guys, there's less than 20 of them. So if you want it, you gotta jump on it really fast. These are not gonna last long. Uh, the Craftsman's Pride F466, or 69, all right? Hedgehog Evolution. Thanks for coming along this journey with me. I hope there was a lot of things that you guys liked. Maybe some things you guys have been looking for uh, that we've been out of stock on. Um, spring is here. It's here. Well, for us, spring is here. <laughs> some people got some time, but it's coming and it's gonna come fast. Yep. So get out there, go catch some fish. Uh, let us know how you guys are doing. Keep catching fish, sending us pictures and tagging them on the, on the socials and stuff like that. Uh, on behalf of everybody here at The Hookup, Ben, CJ, Carmen, and everybody else here, thank you for everything, guys. We really appreciate everything you guys do for us and have a great day.